Well, another season of Keys Outdoors Musky Honey Adventures is about to begin. You know, springtime provides one of the best times of the year for landing a big musky. The spawn, which happens early in the spring in water temps of 50 to 60 degrees, congregates all the males and females into isolated shallow areas. These areas, well, they're known as their spawning grounds. The spawn, well, it can take several weeks, and over time we have found out that Great Lakes muskies can and do come into these spawning areas in different waves. How do we know this? Because over the years we have caught muskies all beat up and scarred up from their rough spawning behaviors. And then we will start to catch and see new arrivals, super clean unmarked fish. As a new wave of muskies come in from the abyss to practice in this yearly event called the spawn. Keys Outdoors is brought to you in part by Great Clips, Quick Trip, and the Boat Center. We would start out the new show season divided. Sean and Ryan would head to the Bay Area, and I was off exploring yet another wild Wisconsin river. Divide and conquer, that was our plan. Trying to cover as much water between the three of us, hoping that one of us, well one of us would get the old musky luck going that weekend. For me, the only action that I'd have on the river in three days took a total of four seconds. That's it, four seconds. My mother-in-law, God bless her soul, always said I was crazy. Hopefully, Sean and Ryan would find better luck than me. What is up guys? Here we are, Northern Opener. We've been waiting all year for this. What everyone's been waiting for is to get up, do a little fishing in Green Bay, try to get some big fish. Ryan and I are taking a half day today. We're gonna go up and do some scouting. We're really gonna be just focusing on shallow warm bays that would hold muskies in the spawn. Now we're not targeting spawning muskies, but that's where they are. They all kind of congregate and we're looking for those post-spawn muskies as they pull out of their spawning habitats and they go back to their normal feeding habits. So we're going to be throwing blades, a little bit of rubber, glide baits is a really good bait in spring up there and uh, we just wanted to change it up this year. Maybe a little less boats, a little less pressure and uh, I know there's some monster fish over there um, and I think we're going to get on them. So uh, stay tuned. Let's go.
morning northern opener. We're gonna start tight. We've done a little bit of scouting and seen some fish paired up. Um, away from the crowds, that was our big thing for uh, for this year is get away from all the chaos and the boats, but we are using chaos glide baits. Uh, this one here is the blunt nose. I also have really good success with the, uh, the, the chaos round nose as well, a little bit heavier, but start off with a smaller profile and uh, see what we can put together. But very excited, you know, hopefully it's uh, gonna be a sign of a good year and, and good things to come. So let's get to work. Opening day 2022, uh, north of Highway 10. Sean and I came up yesterday, scouted some stuff out, and um, seen a lot of fish today. A lot of big fish, too. Seen a guy catch a 47, uh, had a couple nice ones follow up. We saw one that was probably 55 or 56 inches. She was paired up. Wasn't real interested, but had a real nice surprise in the figure eight. Nice fish. Came in on the chaos on the glide. As a Great Clips Salon stylist, I love giving customers the look they want. With Clip Notes, we save your haircut details, so it's one less thing for you to worry about. And when I see that confidence at the end of the cut, that's everything to me. Successful musky fishing is all about time on the water. The more time, the greater your odds. So if time is what is needed, then I'm glad I'm in my skeeter because ride, comfort, and room makes that time thing, well, makes it a hell of a lot more enjoyable. Welcome to KOTV, where outdoor enthusiasts go for free outdoor programming. Nothing but hunting, fishing, and outdoor related content from some of your favorite Midwest TV shows and YouTube channels. All in one place, right here on KOTV. Download KOTV channel from any Roku streaming device or Roku TV. Or you can watch free at our website. How would you like to win a day out on the water with Keys Outdoors Musky Hunting Adventures team and a $100 Quick Trip gift card? It's easy. Just download the Quick Rewards app, click the Sweepstakes trophy icon, select the Keys Outdoors Musky Hunting Adventures sweepstakes, select the number of visits you'd like to enter, and we may see you in our boat for the filming of another exciting adventure on Keys Outdoors. As a stylist, I know it can be hard to find time for a haircut. With the Great Clips app, you can put your name on the list from anywhere and head to the salon when it's time for your cut. A great haircut plus more time for what you love. That's Great Clips. Quite a few big fish caught, so we're optimistic. Um, hopefully this wind, and we got new moon uh, tonight, so hopefully uh, that should be a good sign of things to come. So we'll keep you posted, let's go get a big one.
Yeah, buddy. Yes. Literally just said pretty sexy stuff. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Coming here and she had big weed on it. The bait did? Yeah. And then she just came out of nowhere. Good job. First one, blunt nose, Kodiak Glide. We've been, Ryan's running the, the round nose. I've been downsizing a little bit and had a few fish come in on this um, last day. And finally this morning, we got a nice little male here. It's the first fish, so we're pumped. Uh, we've seen a bunch of fish and just haven't uh, hooked up, but finally it's gonna be a good morning. There's nobody here compared to yesterday. So uh, we're gonna get her, uh, on the new addition in my boat is the bumping is the wreck and rack bump board. And the best thing is having it on this rack is just out of the way. It's always on the floor. Now it's tucked away. It's got its own spot. Super simple. Give her a dip. <clears throat> Here, we're gonna get her out. Thirty-seven. Good go, man. Good job. One fish in the bag and the whole day ahead of them, Sean and Ryan would continue to focus on the warm shallow bays. Blades, rubber, and glide baits was the weapons of choice. seen any fish except the, the small one we caught this morning and uh, we just were taking a break and drifting down a spot and we weren't even paying attention and I kept seeing what looks like muskies on the side of Minjing and uh, so I went back up we restarted the drift and out about three boat lengths where we have been fishing so there was just a pile of fish right outside the break and uh, I think it was like the second cast with a double dog. She just hammered it. Just absolutely hammered it. So, uh, get this one out of the net and 
see what she looks like. Oh, you will. I think I've seen you on TV. Yeah. Oh, very cool. What show, what show is it? Keys Outdoors? It is Keys, yeah. Uh, the uh, beard is distinguished. <laughs> the beard of the bald. Yeah. Sweet. Big. Uh, probably mid 40s. So, day two. Number two, on the on the double dog, man. Super pumped. We moved out, and uh, she was right where I saw her on the side imaging. So let's see this girl. A little better than the last one. Northern opener 2022. We're off to a slow start and now we're getting on them. All right, Northern opener, man. It's turned out to be pretty good. Getting into them. Just adjusting what we're doing, you know, from where we saw them yesterday, now we're pushing out. <clears throat> Some slime climb. Oh, it's about time. Nice job, man. Awesome. Whoa. Here we are, day two, um, evening, it's about 5.15. We we got off around 1.30, uh, took a little nap, and man, the, the weather changed significantly. We got 20 to 30 mile an hour wind, which alters our game plan a little bit. We woke up to two broken tents, uh, it's really windy. So we're gonna come back in these little sloughs here, a little bit shallower, uh, try to hide from the wind, and you know, Sean stuck two really nice fish earlier uh, this morning, so good start there. We got two on the board, we gotta get that one big kicker fish, and there's been quite a, quite a few big fish caught so we're optimistic um, hopefully this wind and we got new moon uh, tonight so hopefully uh, that should be a good sign of things to come so we'll keep you posted let's go get a big one with two awesome Green Bay muskies in the bag Sean and Ryan well they were off to a great start for the 2022 muskie season now it was my turn to head east to the big drink I'd hook up with Sean, and we would try our luck. Our luck at a big Green Bay Muskie. of June. Things are really running late. Um, really cold water. We're Great Lakes fishing and uh, super cold water and we don't know really what's going on but we're gonna try to figure things out. We're gonna get out on the water here and uh, try to work some shallow water. See if they're shallow. If they're not just keep working our way out to that 8 foot. If they're not there then work our way out to that 13-14 foot um, and see if they're there. It's really about uh, 
putting the pieces of the puzzle together to try and figure out where these fish are and what stage of the spawn. Is it pre? Is it post? Is it right during? We don't know. We've had such goofy spring weather that uh, it's going to take a lot of time on the water to figure things out, but we're going to dump in here and we're going to get to fishing. Still not sure of the phase of the spawn we were in, especially with this crazy weather we were facing in the upper Midwest. There were no guarantees, not that there really ever is, but throw this crazy weather mix into things, and like I said, man, no guarantees. one behind us about a 45 I don't know what this one was but it it stopped me dead there's no doubt about that uh, so we're just gonna keep grinding it's really weird because there's a lot of fish in a very small area and it's in that 10 to 12 foot with weeds high weeds and it's the only spot that we found that really looks like this in other words we've tried to duplicate it by looking at different other weed beds that we know in this area and nothing quite mimics what we have here so I guess you just gotta as boring as it is to do circles and just keep doing drifts through this small area you almost have to do it because there's a bunch of fish in here and that's what we're gonna do so back to work but that was on a musky innovations um, they're swimming dog and I wanted something a little uh, perchy looking in fact I was thinking about getting out a marker and putting some bars on it and I may still do that rolling it really really slow I was trying to get it as deep as I possibly can now there is something that you can do for that um, stealth leaders makes weighted leaders that you can put on here um, and uh, they work really good and I thought about that too switching up my leader to a stealth leader and uh, with the weight on it and get it down just a little bit deeper a perch perchy type colors definitely the pattern they're interested in so back to work that was in 11 feet of water again We got it, uh, it's 1040. We're just working some more of these weeds. We got moon phase coming up. Um, we're seeing lots of fish outside of the moon. So we're, we're getting ready to hopefully hook into something big here. We've seen a couple other fish caught um, and they're moving. So it's been slow for the last day, but now they're, they're finally showing themselves and we're, uh, we're, we're finally on them. So just got to outlast them. on moon here switched over to the glider and I think probably the 10th cast I had a real nice 45 come in she kind of got spooky around the boat but we are still on them still in that uh, 11 to 13 feet this 
just gotta get one to go. Baby, right on. All right, man. Very cool. I'm gonna hit us on spot lock here, but big bait, dude. <laughs> Perfect. Little guy, but that's all right. That's good. Good to see this. Healthy fishery, small fish, really clean. So we'll keep our eye open on how clean these fish are. They do come in waves, but let's let her go back and uh, get big so we can catch her down the road. I'll let her off this side behind me. Here we are. Only one fish. Seen five other fish. One really nice one, but uh, we're gonna call her good right now. We've got severe weather coming in, and we've seen lightning, and that's one thing we will not chance is that lightning. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get back here or not, but one fish, and Sean and Ryan caught a couple, and uh, the old spotted musky green bay trip has been okay.